What's up, guys? It is actually really, really cold out. But let's do a boat tour. The lighting probably isn't A1 in here. Now it's going to be really cold in here. I'm not going to lie. It actually is, is really nice out. Right now it's 50 degrees. Not much wind. Nah, I'm going to go fishing. Alright. So starting from the front of the boat. We got mud flaps. Obviously. For the truck. When we haul it down gravel or we go up north. Um, Jack, thingy-majiggy, whatever. It says it right there. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Um... Safety instructions that obviously nobody reads because if you, I mean, it's pretty much common sense. Um, it's got a swing away tongue on this trailer, so if your garage is not long enough, of course, you can pop it out and swing it back and then relock it. Um, pretty much not sure what, what you want me to say about this. It's a crank, it cranks it up. Um, all that good jazz added some roughy stuff so when you step out you don't slip and fall in the water anyways I didn't even really explain this yet this is a smoker craft pro angler it's an XL though and what you guys don't see is the XL because obviously for whatever reason they didn't put XL on it but um this boat is a pretty expensive walleye boat. I'm calling it a walleye boat because as you can see, it is not only the deepest, but also the widest 16-foot boat on the market. This is a 2011 Smoker Craft Pro Angler XL. As I said already, it is a leftover, and we bought it in 2012, I believe. I could double-check that, but... That is pretty much the year as well. But, start off with the front of the boat. We have a Minn Kota Power Drive V2. Um, the graph we have up here is a little lower ends. Came with the boat. It works good. Tells us the depth. That's all I need to know in the front of the boat. Um, that is a 45 pound thrust trolling motor, I believe. I will jump in the boat now and give you guys an overview of the inside. Here he has the cover in. Oh my lanthus! The carpet is still wet. But he has the yeah, it's a 45 pound thrust trolling motor. But he still has the cover in the boat. I'm shaking some cold. Um these are the compartments in the front. Here's the main compartment. Um it's all, it goes underneath, it's one big compartment. You guys probably cannot see that very good because it's dark. We have a brand new battery down there. For the trolling motor, it's a 12 volt trolling motor. As you can tell, it's very clean. No spots on the carpet, the carpet looks brand new. Um, we take very good care of this boat. So technically it says you could fit five people or 675 pounds in the boat. Um, we have th th three seats that can fit in the boat because they came with three um, whatever these things are. So we have three seats in here, but we do have four seats with the boat um, down here. And if you guys seen all my videos, I unlatch this and it, more storage back here. But what I do is I slide all my rods back there, snap it back on. And then my rods don't go anywhere when I drive to the lake. More storage going underneath here. Um, storage underneath here. But what this is really for is when you have a big fish on and you're in rough water, stick your feet underneath. And then you, it, it holds you so it, you can grab the fish. I mean, it physically holds you. So that's probably the best thing. One of the really nice things about this boat for rough water. Um, it's made to take big waves, obviously. Same thing on this side. Um, another type of rod locker type of deal over here. Keep your nets in here, planer boards if you're a walleye trolling. 
musky trolling, keep your planer boards, whatever in here. Um, a couple extra rods, nets, paddle. Back here we have the starting battery. Also runs the live well, I believe, which I did not show you guys, so I'll have to do that. Just some more storage. Um, another thing for a seat. Here's the inside of the rod locker. I, um, I have fit 25 rods in here. Um, of course, that is with rod socks and also... Yeah, that's about it with rod socks. Um, and one, I mean, the longest rods I put in there were seven foot six. Anything past that, you can't really do, but you can put a seven foot six rod in there, and that's a punching stick or a trolling rod, pretty much. A lot of trolling rods are two pieces, anyways, so pop them off. Um, we also, my dad made these parts right here, these metal spacers, because he wasn't able to just screw these down because underneath there's a lip that comes out and the screws wouldn't have been able to go through and it would have been popped through and then it would have got water in here. So he made these spacers and put the flush rod holder mounts on. So we have six rod holder mounts coming off the back. Basically just a good trolling setup. Um, the big motor, it is a Mercury. It's a 50 horse Merc. It's a two stroke. Um, never had any issues with this motor. It's like super, super clean in there still. I'm sure it has less than 30 hours on it. Probably like, okay, probably legit less than 15 hours on it. Um, for years we never really, um, used the motor that much. We would just use the trolling motor and go around the lake and fish when I was younger, but he's just changing all the grease fittings and everything, get it all ready for, um, winterizing. Right here is the console. Um, I need to wipe it down again. But basically this is where I sit. The You can move the seat forward and backwards. Of course I haven't moved as far forward as I can because I'm a little guy. But here's the kill run switch. You never really mess with it because if you accidentally bump it, you can't get the bolt started and you know what that is. We have um, another graph right here that I use as the Lake Master chip. has everything. I put all my waypoints there for tournament fishing. Um, boat comes with that, that, well, actually we bought that, but this boat is currently for sale. Um, I just need to clean the windshield and stuff. Gosh, that is not looking very crisp. Here's the live well. Ugh. I need to vacuum out the live well again. I used it the other week because I caught a six-pound bass at the lake. But... It's a very big live well. Most fish I've had in here was 10 bass at a time, and they all stayed alive. The pump that flows water in is right there. Um, that's about it. More storage up in the front. I'm pretty sure I went over everything inside the boat. Besides, I, we put cup holders and stuff, obviously. I mean, that's just as simple. You're going to put cup holders in a boat. Um, I'll jump out of the boat and show you guys an outside view again. So this is the outside of the boat. It has bronze, silver, and black coloring. It is all paint. Nothing, like no dents in this boat, no gashes. Nothing horrible like that, like you see in a lot of aluminum boats. Trolling motor kicks really good, it runs really good. Um, like I said, go to the back of the boat. At the back of the boat, um, here's the ladder. Here's the transducer for the main graph. Here's a lot of the stuff we keep in the boat. Um, must be 12 o'clock. I hear the sound thing he's going off right here. This is an um, add-on that we added onto the boat. This is for the live well. When I fish tournaments, this keeps all of the grass when I'm in shallow water from pumping into the live well. So that stops from you having to be aggravated and have your fish die. Um, yeah, that's basically an overview of the boat. Um, nothing really on this side that's any different. There's the gas thing. But yeah, and then another neat thing. It's on that side of the boat, but... Right about here, there's a step where you can step on so you don't scratch up the boat. 
But yeah, that's that's an overview of the Smokercraft Pro Angler XL, guys. Also, um, this boat is currently for sale in Wisconsin. If you guys are looking for a new boat, it is very well priced compared to what you can pay for these brand new and what most people sell their aluminum boats for. We are trying to get into the market of getting a bass boat, which... If everything goes right, I will be buying my own next spring. But that's going to take a lot of hard work and a lot of dedication this winter. So yeah, um, that's the boat tour that I um, fish out of, if you guys always seen. She's been around the state. And she's won me plenty of tournaments. It's an awesome boat. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you want more videos like this, be sure to leave a comment down below. Tell me what kind of videos you want to see. Right now, I'm going to be filming a couple videos, and then I'm also going to throw my kayak in the back of my truck, head out to the lake, and film a couple more videos for you. Um, and yeah, so we'll see how today goes. It should go good. But if you guys like the boat tour I just gave you, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody that is interested in this boat, I will leave a link down below to the ad where you can check it out if you are around the Wisconsin, Illinois area. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys.